This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing my nails using the McCart Purple Poly Gel Kit. I've gotten a ton of requests for this one, so this is what it looks like. It's keeping up with the whole aesthetic. And I'm also gonna be using some new colors from this PR box that McCart sent. It includes two of the colors from their new collection for the fall winter 2020. It's called the Fairy Gathering. This box here is just a curated PR box, so it's like, you know, not for sale, but you know, they included these products so I can do some nails with these two new colors. So I wanna try those out as well. So let's get to it. So this is everything that comes in the purple poly gel kit. You get four tubes of poly gel, a gel base in top coat, nail surface cleaner that doubles as the slip solution, nail file, brush and picker tool that has the spatula on one end and the brush on the other. It comes with a case of dual forms. And as you guys may know, dual forms is not my favorite, <laughs> but I do have videos on how to use these. I'll be sure to leave links down below to videos showing you how to do that. And of course you have the instructions. This pamphlet tells you everything that comes in the kit and it tells you step by step on how to do the nails with dual forms and with nail forms. And it even shows you how to take them off and all that. So definitely read this if you need help. So now for these swatches. This is color 852. Color 853. Color 854 and 851, which is just the clear. And then for those two new colors, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these names, um, but this one is a blue glittery color and it is really, really pretty. I love how it, it has the small and chunky glitter inside of it. And then this one here is a clear with iridescent glitter in it. Really, really pretty. And I think these colors go so well with the purple poly gel kit. So these are all the colors side by side. All right, so these are my natural nails. And as you guys know, I've been growing out my left hand nails, so they have gotten so long. <laughs> I went ahead and took my previous set off last night. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of prepping. I've already kind of done my filing and stuff when I took my nails off, but as always, I'm gonna push back my cuticles. And then using the opposite end of the cuticle pusher, I'm just gonna scrape up any of that dead skin on the nail plate. And going in with my flame cuticle bit, I'm just gonna work that around the cuticles to further get up any of that dead skin and crust on the nail. And then finally, I go in with my round manicure bit and get up any of the dead skin. And I also rub this on my skin as well. It's very gentle. Um, it's the whole Russian manicure thing. So I will leave the links down below to these drill bits. So after doing all of the cuticle prep, I'm just gonna take the hand file on the 180 side and lightly file the surface of my nails just to get rid of the shine. I'm doing this very gently, so it's not any damage. So after that, I'm gonna go in with the Mia Secret Nail Prep, and this is a dehydrator. I'm just gonna apply this to all of my nails. And then I'm going in with the Mia Secret Primer and I'm gonna apply that to my nails as well. And then I'm gonna take the Slip Solution and pour some of that into my dampen dish. This dampen dish is a candle holder that I repurposed as a dampen dish. So next I'm gonna go in with the gel base coat and I'm applying this to all of my nails and just doing a nice thin even coat. and give that a cure in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm just gonna go in with the poly gel. So as you guys can see, I'm doing a poly gel overlay. I'm just going to put a layer of this over my natural nails and rock this length. As always, the McCart poly gel is pretty easy to use as long as you're Dip it into your slip solution. Um, it's not gonna be too sticky. It works just as good as all the other colors that I've tried. <laughs> So 
So because these nails are super short, you don't really have to worry about building a thick apex and all that stuff. So this is a pretty simple set. After patting that in place, I went ahead and cured that in my nail lamp and I'm just gonna move on to my middle finger, taking this lighter lavender color. And once that's formed the way that I like, I went ahead and cured that as well. And then I'm going in with the purple jelly color on my index fingernail. So after curing that, I wanted to do a different type of design for my ring fingernail, which is gonna be my accent nail. And I'm going for like a color block spiral. So I'm starting off with this glitter poly gel and kind of putting that in the first shape that I need. And I went ahead and cured that. And then I'm going in with the second color into the form of the spiral. And I pretty much cured after each color just to make it easier for me to apply the next color without anything shifting and moving. So after finally getting all of the colors in place, I went ahead and did my final cure in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. And this is after curing and I just like these colors. They look so cute. So now I'm just gonna use the nail surface cleaner and wipe off the surface of my nails to get rid of that tacky layer before I go in with my shaping and filing. So next, I just use the hand file to crispen up my shape. And this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. Not bad, I think these are pretty cute. <laughs> so of course, bling time, and I'm gonna use the Poochie Snails Bling Gel and Top Coat. First going in with the bling gel. And without curing, putting on the top coat on top, making sure to clean around those cuticles. And then just placing my crystal and some caviar beads. And I do a little something on the index finger as well. I am falling in love with caviar beads. It makes the crystals look like jewelry, like it's so pretty. So after applying the crystals, I went ahead and cured that. And now I'm just gonna go in with the top coat. And do my final cure for 60 seconds. And this is what the nails look like after curing. So of course I gotta put my cuticle oil on and I was finally able to get my hands on the new Sailor Moon nail oil set. This came out in the Sailor Moon store in Tokyo. And of course I ain't been to Tokyo, so I got these from eBay. 
But as you guys know, I love Sailor Moon and I collect all Sailor Moon stuff. Well, not all, but most. <laughs> so this scent here is peach and this one here is lemon and they both smell so good and just the bottles are just so gorgeous. I just, I just can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the peach one and apply that to my cuticles. And here is the finished look. Now, y'all know I love long nails, and so this one was a definite change for me, but since these are my natural nails with a poly gel overlay, like I am so proud, cause <laughs> this is the longest my natural nails have ever been, and it's because of the pregnancy, I'm sure. But they just look so cute, and I really, really love how this set came out. So if you guys are interested in the McCart Purple Poly Gel Kit or their new Fairy Gathering collection, I will be sure to leave the links to those down below. I hope this nail tutorial was helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in my next one. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show.